Name tonight. Give you glory, the glorious one, the beautiful one, the shining one, the one who shines in the whole heavens, one who's growing as healed the whole earth. You said to the Father, glorify me with the glory that I had with you from the beginning. And the Father says, Son, I have glorified thee, and I will glorify thee again. Jesus said, The glory thou hast given me, I give it to them. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for loving us and paying such a dear price on the cross. That we might have access to the Father, access to the kingdom. Thank you, Father, that through the death of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, we are now the begotten ones. We are now accepted in the beloved, all because of the price, all because of the cross, all because of the blood. Tonight, you raise up a voice and we raise up hands and grow into your name. Glory to the Father, glory to the Son and to the Spirit, for you alone deserve to be exalted, you deserve to be glorified. For yours is the heavens, and yours is the earth, and yours is the kingdom, yours is the power and the glory. Your majesty we bow before you, our glory we bow before you, our high priest we bow before you, our shepherd we love you. Shall we take our seat now? Raise your hand and say, I am the glory of God. Come and say, I am the glory of the Father. Say it again. I am the glory of the Lord. I am the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you to know that the Lord still love you. God still love you no matter what. No matter what. 
no matter what, God still love you. You must embrace the love of God. You must be conscious of his love for you at every given moment. Whether you think you are down or you are up. Whether you think there is a good news or there is a bad news. Whether you think there is money in your pocket or not. Never at any time judge God's love by your circumstances. Don't judge his love by the things that you are experiencing. Don't judge God's love by the things that you are hearing. Because God's love is greater, pure, and deeper than anything you can think of. That God still loves you and He is aware. He's very much aware of what you are going through, what you are experiencing, and what you are hearing. He is in control. And you will still be in control. You are the one that God loves. You are the reason why Jesus came. You are the reason why he shed his blood. You are the reason why he had to come back to life. To look for you. When Jesus came back to life and saw Mary. He asked her, what is Peter? He said, go tell Peter. He is the reason why he had to come back to life. He is my treasure. He is my heart. I can't afford to forget him. God cannot afford to forget you. You must always remember that God loves you. And you have to respond to his love. You have to embrace his love. You have to say, Father, I thank you for loving me. I function your love and I embrace your love. I know you cannot reject the one that you love. You can't forget me because you love me. You can't allow me to go through this things for the rest of my life because you love me. Father, I thank you for your love. You need to be conscious of his love. Raise your right hand and say, Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you for loving me. I thank you for loving me. I embrace your love for me. I function in your love. I walk in your love. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. The key is that good things and many great things happen to those who believe in the love of God and who embrace and accept the love of God. Praise God. Your perception about God is important. The way you see God, the way you view Him, the way you picture Him is important. Do you think He is on your side or not? Do you think God will use His power to help you or not? Do you think God believes in you or not? Thank you, Father. Praise God. Shall we go to Isaiah 54? We have a favorite scripture over there. Tonight, we're going to stand on that word and declare certain things. <clears throat> Isaiah 54, verse 17. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn why this is the heritage of the servants of the lord and their righteousness is from me says the lord this is their heritage. I died to give them inheritance. So they have inheritance. And one of their inheritance is righteousness. With this righteousness, no one and no tongue that rises up against them in judgment, destruction, 
or trying to bring them down or trying to cancel what Jesus has done for us will not stand will not stand I died to give them my righteousness and they have received my righteousness and they are my righteous ones the Lord says that he is our righteousness if he is our righteousness then who can judge us then who can condemn us then who can bring us down who can hinder us praise God oh I say praise God oh. so this is the key the enemy the adversary the enemy of the gospel is the enemy of the believer the enemy doesn't like the gospel so whosoever associates himself or herself with the gospel becomes a target so if the enemy is against you not because of you per se but because of what the gospel but because of the righteousness praise god god knows that the enemy is against righteousness he is not happy about righteousness he doesn't want any human being to associate himself with the righteousness of god he doesn't want any human being to be part of this righteousness and he knows that whosoever becomes righteous in christ becomes a target of the enemy so the bible says that no weapon no tongue no picture no one that rises up against you i know why they are against you i know why they are doing what they are doing if they rise against you it's all because of what the righteousness or because of the righteousness but i tell you with this right When they open their mouth when they begin to speak their evil words they will try to judge you and condemn you when they do that take heart take heart stand on the same righteousness be conscious of the same righteousness and rise up with authority of righteousness and bring their devices under your feet bring their intentions under your feet bring their counsel the counsel of the enemy bring it under your feet nullify their efforts cancel their devices whatever you condemn i condemn for that is the heritage that is the blessings that is why i die for this is the battle between the believer and unrighteousness between the believer and darkness praise god that is what jesus said seek ye first seek ye first the kingdom and righteousness and all other things what shall be added unto you say amen my dear say amen my dear tonight we're going to stand on our righteousness we're going to declare our righteousness the devil has no answer to your righteousness in fact he can do nothing about your righteousness all that he can do is to stand afar and shout he will stand at the traffic light and make noise he can't touch your righteousness he can't bring you down he will try to raise allegations and accusations against you praise god his plans and his purpose is to bring you to yourself is to bring you to him under the law but refuse to go there refuse to be under the law praise the lord are you hearing me tonight praise god the righteousness of god becomes effective in your life when you know and you know and you know that the righteousness that you are and what you have 
does not come from you. When you what you know, it does not come from you. Praise God. It is a gift from the Father. It is a gift from Christ. He knows our frame. He knows our weaknesses. He knows what we can go, what we can do, where we can go. He is aware. And yet he says, you are my righteousness. I give you my righteousness. So the righteousness of God becomes evident. You begin to enjoy it when you know and you know and you know that this righteousness is a gift from Christ. It's a gift of God. Praise God. Come on, say, I have the gift of righteousness. I have the gift of righteousness. I have the gift of righteousness. With my righteousness, I can go far. I can go far. Praise the Lord. God wants us to use our faith to believe one thing. He wants you to use your faith to believe one thing. Don't worry as yourself about believing this, believing that, believing this, believing that. I am believing God for healing. I am believing God for, 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 for childbearing. I am believing God for marriage. I am believing God to travel. I am believing God to pass my exams. It is all right. It is all right. But God is not so much happy about that. Because he knows that all these things are included in something. It is the devil who tries to let you know that. Can't you believe God for marriage? Can't you believe God for travel? Can't you believe God for feeling? No. The believer does not need to believe again. You are already a believer. When you believe Jesus as your Lord and Savior, it is enough. From that moment you go, you are all a believer. Throughout Apostle Paul's teachings and preaching, he never urged any believer to believe. He never. He didn't go to the Corinthians or the Galatians and say, hey, keep on believing or believe. No, 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 no. He said, you know, so once you believe one thing, all other things will respond. Because Jesus said that uh, if you seek the kingdom and get the righteousness, what will happen? That is it. You see, so it is the plan of the devil to divide your faith. Okay, you still have to believe that you are the righteousness of God, and then you the other have to believe that God can do this, God can do that. Don't waste your time. God wants us to use our faith to believe one and one thing only. That is to believe that you are the righteousness of God. You are the righteousness of God. And Christ is our righteousness. When you keep on believing and remind yourself every day that you are the righteousness of God, the other things Jesus said, they will come. You wouldn't have to worry yourself to look for them. They will come. Jesus said they will come. When you believe that you are the righteousness of God, healing will come. Joy will come. Peace will come. Victory will come. Everything that you need, Lord, they will follow you. Because they will locate the righteousness and rush towards it. That is what Jesus wants us to believe for. He wants us to use our faith to believe that we are the righteousness of God. Praise God. Every morning when you rise up now, you raise your hand and say, Lord, I thank you that I am the righteousness of God. I bless you that I am the righteousness of God. When you get to the market, you declare, I am the righteousness of God. When you get to your office, you declare, I am the righteousness of God. When you get to your car, you declare, I am the righteousness of God. When you find yourself in the market, you declare, I am the righteousness of God. That is all that the Spirit of the Lord wants us to have. Being conscious, 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 conscious that you are the righteousness of God. Say Amen. You know what? Sometimes it is easy 
to declare that you are the righteousness of God when everything is moving world smoothly. When everything is going well, 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 well. It is easy to say it too. It is easy to say, oh, I am the righteousness of God. Because everything is available. Everything is moving on well. Everything is happening according to your purpose and your plan. I mean, you are rejoicing. So it is easy. It is easy to say, I am the righteousness of God at that time. But the most important time that God wants you to know that you are the righteousness of God is when the enemy comes in. When he tries to accuse you. When he knows that you have done wrong, you have gone wrong, he comes there quickly. You call yourself somebody. You call yourself somebody. Look at you. Look at you. At that time that you were angry. At that time that things are not going on well, things are rough. That is the very time. That is the very time that you need to rise and say, Hey, I am the righteousness of God. That is the time you have to say, I am the righteousness of God. But sometimes you hear believers say, I am the righteousness of God when things are well, when things are moving well, when things are going well. Praise God. But when they get disappointed when their loved one is sick when there's a financial problem when things are rough they tend to forget they forget that they are the righteousness of God but that time that that time is the time that you need to open your mouth and declare I am what God says I am I have what God says I have I can do what he says I can do do you know why because the righteousness that we have does not depend on us it does not depend on your performance your works it doesn't whether you are doing right or wrong it doesn't whether things are doing going well or not it doesn't it has nothing to do with you your performance your deeds your activity doesn't come in here you are what you are because of who he is it is when you remember you remember that it is not about you when you remember it is not about your perfection but it is about his perfection about his work praise god then you have the strength the power to rise up that even though i have sinned i still believe i am the righteousness of god even though i am angry i still believe i am the righteousness of god even though i am disappointed i still believe i am the righteousness of god even though i have nothing to eat i still believe i am the righteousness of god when you begin to do that the angels of god would you say yes this is our brother this is our sister god wants you to know that it is not about yourself it is not about what you are doing or what you are not able to do no if something good can, comes into your hands don't say hey because i prayed last night because i did this or i did that no you must always remember that you are the righteousness of god and this righteousness is a gift it is a gift that you didn't pay for it is a gift that i don't deserve that you don't deserve you should not forget it is a gift that I didn't even ask him for. I didn't pray for it. He look at me. He overlook your mistakes. He overlook your sins and my sins. And he saw our need of righteousness. He saw our need 
of righteousness he saw our need of mercy praise the lord are you listening to me now tonight we're going to pray that this righteousness will take root deep root in our spirits that your mind will be occupied by his righteousness wherever you go whatever you do wherever you find yourself you will know beyond doubt that you are you are he said you are so i say i am so no matter the my circumstances the no matter the situation no matter no matter no matter if if i am on the ground i still believe i am the righteousness of god praise the lord this is why he came that we might walk in the newness of life praise the lord i say praise the lord when we come to this level knowing that we are called to believe in this righteousness god becomes happy with us he responds to us praise god when you read the book of Romans, it says that for God commanded, He commanded His righteousness, He commanded His love, He commanded His grace and mercy towards us. At the time that we were sinners, at the time that we were wicked, at the time that we didn't even know Him, He sent His loved one. In our place he sent his loved one to pay the price for us praise god but the key is that when you meet a sinner you don't command your love towards him when you arrest a thief do you command your love towards a thief praise god a sinner deserves to be punished, isn't it? A sinner deserves to be judged and condemned. A sinner shouldn't go free. A sinner is made to pay for his sins. Isn't it? That is the Old Testament. That is a human love. That is a human activity. But when you move into the love of God, when you get into the realm of love of God, when you understand the love of God, when you believe in the love of God, you will know that punishment cannot change a sinner. That judgment cannot change a sinner. He is a sinner, he's already condemned. Can you go to the condemned cell at his home? And say, all oh, the condemned inmates come here. I declare you are condemned. Praise God. What to do to them? I say, you have said nothing. We know we are already condemned. Here we are condemned. And you are telling me I'm condemned. Because it is not news. You want to hear a good news. You want to hear something like, even though you are condemned, I tell you, Christ has taken your condemnation away. Christ has removed your condemnation away. Christ does not punish you because you have sinned. Christ does not what reject you because you have sinned. That is the good news. That is the gospel. That is the grace of God. Praise God. When you see your fellow neighbor, don't condemn them. The unbeliever is already condemned. The unjust man is already condemned. So when Jesus met us in that situation, he didn't condemn us. He said he commanded his love, his mercy towards us, towards us. Praise God. So that we can know that he loves us. The grace of God is the key. The love of God is the key of becoming. Praise God. It's the key of enjoying the blessings of Abraham. The grace of God is the key. The love of God is the key. Embracing Jesus is the key of enjoying and experiencing the glory 
the peace and the inheritance in the kingdom praise the lord hallelujah amen god wants us to use our faith to believe that we are justified come and say i am justified oh raise your hand and say i am justified i believe i am justified i still believe i am justified by faith apart from the law apart from my works praise god god wants us to walk in that justification justification apart from your performance apart from the law apart from your works he you want you to believe that you are justified it means you are innocent it means you are highly innocent it means you are blameless it means you are justified you are blameless and you are guiltless you are guiltless so when you say i am justified by faith what you are saying is a father i thank you that i am guiltless i am blameless i am innocent i have no sin in my life christ has taken all my sins my old nature on the cross and when he had rose from the dead he left the old sin in the grave he left my old nature in the grave and now i am justified i am justified i want you to rise your feet for the next 30 minutes i want to pray on this justification and righteousness when you understand the righteousness of god and your justification you begin to relate to your children you begin to relate to your neighbor you begin to relate to everybody in the same spirit because you know that they are the people of god praise god hallelujah raise your hand and say the word of god come on say the word of god is effective in my life say it again the word of god is effective in my life a bit louder the, the word, word of god, god is effective in my, in my life. life i am conscious of the word of god i am conscious of the word of god in my life in my life i am aware i am aware that the word of god that the word of god is in me is in me the life of god the life of god is in me is in me the love of god the love of god is in me is in me i declare tonight i declare tonight that the word of god the word of is god effective is effective in my life in my life producing producing what it says what it says producing producing what it says what it says i am walking i am walking in the victory of the world in the victory of the world i am walking i am walking in the glory of the world in the glory of the i am walking i am walking in the excellency of the world excellence of the world manifesting the grace manifesting the grace manifesting the glory manifesting the glory of god God in my life. God in my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name I of Jesus. I am manifesting God's glory. I am manifesting God's glory. I am manifesting glory. God's power. I am manifesting God's power. To my world. To my world. In victory. In victory. In success. In success. In progress. In progress. I am conscious. I am conscious. Of the word of God. Of the word of God. In my life. In my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says. Our tongue. Is like a pen of a ready writer your tongue is like a pen psalm 45 verse 1 it says my heart is overflowing with a good thing i recite my composition concerning the king my tongue is the pen of a ready writer come on say hallelujah hallelujah your tongue is a pen in other words what you speak with your tongue in other words the word of god is written in your heart when you speak with your tongue 
God sees your tongue as a pen that is supposed to write what you confess, what you declare in your heart. Then when your heart becomes full, the Bible says that out of the abundance of hearts, out of the abundance of your heart, what do you do? You speak out. You speak what is in your heart. But before you can speak what is in your heart, your tongue must write the word of God on the table of your heart. So you must know that whenever you stand to speak God's word, you stand to declare God's word, you stand to confess God's word, your tongue as a pen is writing those words where? On your heart. On your heart. On your heart. Praise the Lord. Come on, say my tongue. My tongue. It's a pen. It's a pen. Of a ready writer. Of a ready writer. As I declare God's words. As I declare God's word. My tongue. My tongue. Begins to write. Begins to write. The word on my heart. The word. I declare. I declare. God's word is written. God's word is written. On my heart. On my heart. When I speak them. When I speak. Shall we rise and pray one more time? In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Say after me. I have Christ's righteousness. I have Christ's righteousness. Say it again. I, I have, have Christ's Christ righteousness. righteousness. I walk in Christ's righteousness. I walk in Christ's righteousness. With his righteousness. With his righteousness. I will reign in life. 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 Through Jesus Christ. Through Jesus Christ. With righteousness. I overcome in life. I overcome in life. I prevail in life. I prevail in life. With righteousness. With righteousness. I conquer in life. I conquer in life. I subdue in life. I subdue in life. I destroy in life. I destroy in life. With Christ's righteousness. With Christ's righteousness. I break into ascender. I break into asunder. I cast into ascender. I cast into asunder. With Christ's righteousness. With Christ's righteousness. I punish every darkness. I punish every darkness. I punish every disease. I punish every disease. I punish every evil. I punish every evil in my life. In my life, with Christ's righteousness. With Christ's righteousness. I am success. I am a success. I will enjoy. I will enjoy Abraham's blessing. Abraham's blessing. Abraham's blessing. Abraham's blessing. And I will live. And I will live. An overcoming life. An overcoming life. A successful life. A successful life. A conquering life. A conquering life. A victorious life. A victorious life. With Christ's righteousness. With Christ's righteousness. I am leading. I am leading a beautiful life, a beautiful life, an excellent life, excellent life, a powerful life, a powerful life. Whatever I touch, whatever I touch, whatever I do, whatever I do, shall prosper, shall prosper because of the righteousness, because of the righteousness of God in my life, of God in my life. I declare tonight, I declare tonight, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, with righteousness, with righteousness, I am above darkness, I am above darkness, I am above diseases, I am above diseases, I am above. Death. I am above death. I am above unbelief. I am above unbelief. I am above the devil. I am above the devil. With Christ's righteousness. With Christ's righteousness. I walk over death. I walk over death. I walk over death. I walk over death. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. With Christ's righteousness. With Christ's righteousness. I am success. I am a success. I am success. I am success. I am a winner. I am a winner. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I am stronger than death. With the gift of righteousness. Yes, Lord. With the effects of righteousness. Yes, Lord. With the power of righteousness. Yes, Lord. We have the legal grounds. Thank you, Jesus. To command the disease to go. Yes, Lord. To command the pain to go. Yes, Lord. To command darkness to fly away. Yes, Lord. To command death to go. Yes, Lord. Righteousness is above death. Yes, Lord. Righteousness is above diseases and yes, fear. Yes, Lord. So with the legal grants now, Jesus. you and me have the authority and the audacity yes, Lord. to command whatever is not of the kingdom to depart. Yes, Lord. That would say that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. prosper. And every tongue, every message, every word, every report, every attack of the enemy mm. that seeks to condemn us. Judgment. Bible says, "What? We must condemn them. We must condemn them. We have the legal grounds to condemn them." Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, come and say, "No weapon, no weapon 
no sickness no sickness no disease no disease no death no death no accident no accident no injury no injury no power no power of the enemy of the enemy that rises against that us that rises against us in judgment in judgment will stand will stand tonight tonight i declare i declare anyone among us anyone among us in the name of jesus in the name of jesus any attack of the enemy any attack of the enemy against their body against their bodies any attack of the devil in the attack of the against devil. their health against their health the spirit of sickness the spirit of sickness and diseases and diseases and doubt and doubt and fear and fear and death and death right now right now you are hearing me you now you are hearing us i command you i command you i command you i command you lose your hold lose your hold lose your grip lose your grip of a god's property of a god's property of a god's property of a god property i break your power I in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I cast you out. And I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I condemn the weapon. I condemn the weapon. Jesus name. Jesus yes. name. Jesus name. Jesus. Say I condemn the weapon of I sickness. I condemn the weapon of sickness. The weapon of death. The weapon of death. The weapon of diseases. The weapon of diseases. Against any one of Against us. Against any one of us. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I break your power. I break your and power. And I cast you out. And I cast you out. Go. Go. In Jesus' name. In Jesus. Ah. In Raise your hand. Jesus. Come and say, I will release the healing power. I release the healing power. Say it again. I release the healing power. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Upon the life of the church. Upon the life of Upon the, the life of the members. Upon the life of the Anyone members. Anyone among us. Anyone among us. Who is not well. Who is not well. I command healing. I command healing. I command healing. I command healing. To take charge. To take charge. Over your body. Over your body. I charge your body. I charge your body. To be strong. To be strong. And to be healthy. And to be healthy right now right now your body your body is the body of jesus the body of jesus as jesus is jesus so is. are you now so are you now as jesus is as jesus so is. is your body now so is your body so now. i release so i release the resurrection power the resurrection power the resurrection ability, the resurrection ability to vibrate to vibrate to vibrate to vibrate in your organs in your organs in your organs in your organs in your bones in your bones in your flesh in your flesh i command I command the resurrection, the power, resurrection power to begin to flow to, begin to flow to every fiber to every fiber of your being of your being be healed be healed now now, now. in Jesus name Jesus name. I command energy I command energy I command strength I command strength to take charge to take charge of your body of your body because your body because your body is the temple is the temple of the Holy Ghost of the Holy Ghost and so right now and so right now, I release life I release life the resurrection life the resurrection life to take control to take control over your body over your body wherever you are wherever you are i declare i declare the sickness the sickness is over it's over death death is over it's over pain pain is over it's over diseases diseases you are over you are over i cast you out i cast you out go go and come no more and come back no Health. more health strength strength have taken over has taken over thank you lord thank you lord in jesus name in jesus raise your two hands and thank the father thank you holy spirit bless his name for the lord is good thank you father thank you father thank you thank you Yandari Babala Balabala Baya, thank you, Lord, 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 Thank you, Thank, you Thank, you Thank, you Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your healing. 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 Thank you I thank you, Father. We walk in Christ's health. We walk in Christ's abundance. We walk in Christ's strength. The power of God is vibrating in us. We are stronger than dead. We are bigger than dead. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. And thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord.
The only thing that can transform a man is Christ. When man is able to behold himself in Christ and see his identity in Christ, he will be transformed. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Am I making sense here? Praise the Lord. If you see yourself dirty, dirty things will attract you. But you are holy. You are set apart. You are righteous. God has clothed you with his righteousness. The day you see who you are in Christ, the day you see how clean you are, you begin to work it out. Praise the Lord. Dirty things don't attract you anymore. Praise the Lord. Holy things what attract you. You begin to change the way you speak. Filthy things will not come out of your mouth anymore. Praise the Lord. For you know that you have to speak like the priest who you are. You are a king. You are a priest. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The preceding program was supported by friends and partners of Calvary Crystal Church International. To be a partner, call 055-080-2220. I hope you have been blessed by this program. Please subscribe to our Twitter, Facebook, YouTube channels and share with friends and family. God bless you.